Hey y'all, thought I might shoot a little short video today. Um, we've been buying these little plastic holes reels here like every couple of summers. And every two or three summers they break down, pops off the side there. We got water going freaking everywhere and, and no hose. So I got online, did a little shopping around and uh, I found this, it's called Liberty Garden. It's a decorative uh, hose reel here. And uh, I mean it looks nice and everything but the reason I got it is because it is an attractive wall-mounted hose reel is made of non-rust cast aluminum with brass plumbing fixtures. That's the key word, brass plumbing fixtures. And a durable powder coat finish. The decorative unit comes assembled with, for easy installation, home or wall. Holds up to 125 feet of 5 8 garden hose that is easily pulled out for use, then retracted when done. So. Uh, what the main reason I bought this thing is uh, because of the fixtures. So uh, I actually got me some of these tap cons to mount with. Um, heck, I think these things hold up to like a thousand pounds or something. But uh, anyway, let me uh, let me get her up to the wall, get her leveled, and I want to mount this one high too, so it's a lot easier to. That way you ain't got to bend over and break your back. Okay, y'all, I've got our uh, Liberty hose reel up against the wall here, and I'm getting ready to uh, mark my holes for my drilling. Um, I actually like to. Uh, even like on disconnect boxes or whatnot, I it, the easiest point is to put it in one of these mortar joints. But over time, uh, this gives out, and uh, you know you're looking for your box to pull a, uh, away from your wall, or you know once somebody goes pulling the disconnect or anything. Same as with this hose reel, you're going to be yanking and pulling on this thing. That's why I went kind of overkill with the tap cons. But uh, this way, you know, little nephew comes over, he can do uh, chin ups on this thing. So uh, let me hit my brick joints here. And uh, we'll get after it. What I've done is I've taken my tap cons here and I've used this uh, rust oleum hammered and I painted my uh, washers and I painted my tap cons. Um, it's not dead on, but it's close enough. All right, I've got my hole pre drilled for my tap con and I'm going to utilize the Makita. And this bad boy here, I guarantee, will drive it home. Look at that, probably hold it with one screw. Ain't that something? Okay. Get her dead on. Alright, good enough. We'll just put one tap on it. <laughs> oh man, I love it. Look at this. Ain't that something? And I like drilling into the brick itself as opposed to drilling into a mortar joint. Mortar joint gonna loosen up after time. All right, y'all. Let me drill out these four out or three out, and I'll get back with you. Yeah, check that out, dude. Brass, baby, not plastic. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, look at that dude. Alright, good and level. Absolutely. Alright. Okay, y'all, I'm going to bump it up a notch here. And my lead hose, which is going to go right here to this brass fitting, which I love. Look at this, man. This is some awesome construction on this thing and uh, my brass fitting here. I went out and I bought me some Watts washing machine connectors. Contains two 60 inch braided stainless steel connectors with three quarter inch female hose connection ends. And I bought me some, where'd they go? Some Watts uh, couplings here. Hose adapter, brass. So what I'll do is I'll take and put me a little bit of Teflon on there and no leaky. I don't like leakies.
Oh yeah, we're gonna dress this up, make this look pretty. Okay, okay. We'll just put that, we'll line that hole up right with that dude there. It'll be close enough. Close enough. Makita guys. One more. Okay, y'all, we're uh, we're making it around to the other side where our uh, where our hose uh, reel is, and uh, we're taking and putting a little Teflon tape on my garden hose adapters here so uh, basically that's not that complicated I always just do it just like this get it on there real good I've got four turns take this one here and we'll take it over to our uh, our brass fitting here and this uh, this swivels everywhere man this is nice but uh, I'll just attach it here and as you notice the motion that I, I did the Teflon in if you don't do it the correct way your Teflon will start unraveling on you uh, learn that little trick from old kid 888 my good buddy Al you don't want to go nuts with this either so, uh, all right, let me get back after it and let me get uh, a few more uh, uh, hangers on here and uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll put the big hose on it and see what we got. We'll have to kind of mount this where it falls so. it's all about putting that teflon on there right too guys it, that keeps it from binding up i don't want to go too tight on it okay so what i'll do is i'll try to you know i'll bring it back like this or something and then i'll i'll try to get us as square as we can You know, I got so much to work with, guys. So I'm sure I'll hear some critique here, but it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is, guys. And I don't think it looks too bad.
All right, let me get a couple of mounts in there. And okay, y'all, we're doing our there. thing. Got our new uh, heavy duty rubber hose here. I'm gonna tighten her up. I went ahead and uh, put the uh, Teflon tape to it, and uh, we're gonna get her on there good and hand tight. Everything's got Teflon on it, brass to brass, it's Teflon. Okay, y'all, we've got her uh, wrapped up here, or we're gonna get ready to test her. We've got our hose connected to our uh, outlet here, our new brass outlet, which I love, on our Liberty uh, cast aluminum uh, hose reel here. Um, everything's brass, the internal's brass. We actually took it to the next level and used some Watts braided uh, washer line hose, made couplings here with brass connections, brought it all, uh, we strapped everything up nice and neat. Uh, once I get some more gravel and stuff in here, it'll look, it'll look really sweet. Um, got her wrapped all the way around, and uh, let's uh, let's give her a shot, guys. Say a prayer she don't leak. All right, let's see what we got, guys. We got water applied to her. <laughs> no leaky, no leaky. Okay, let's make sure she's working real good. Gives it a little extra pressure. There we go. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's roll her up and see what she looks like. And then I'll get mom to give y'all a little guy to her, her, uh, her gardening. And it's starting to turn out pretty good this year. She's already got her straw out again. So uh, let's uh, okay, we'll y'all. Let's give it the first roll up here. Oh yeah. No bending over, breaking your back. Oh, ho, ho, and it's so smooth. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Roll on, baby. It's so smooth. So we got a holly bush here. Cedar there. Magnolias. Is them real tulips? Is those fake flyers over here? These red ones? Are those red ones real? Better not water those. <laughs> I ain't gonna hit, well you want me to water them or not? I didn't want to hurt your, your fake flyers there. But uh, I think old Ed's will stop by tomorrow and we're gonna do some reclaiming if he's got time, and then uh, good old buddy Romero is gonna swing out Sunday, and we're gonna do some we're gonna do some turnaround mending. If we don't get any rain, they're calling for freaking rain. But uh, anyway, I know it wasn't HVAC related again, but you know it is what it is. <laughs> I have fun shooting my videos. I hope y'all enjoy some of them. So. Uh, all right, y'all. I'll see you soon. Bye.